Well, hello there, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. And I know it's been a long time since I've had some knife making content on this channel and uh, lots of factors involved. Of course, the whole crazy 2020 year that we're in. Um, I have been I have been doing some knife making a little bit here and there. Uh, but this summer, I put out four outdoor videos and hope you were able to watch those. Spent some time, family time uh, at our cabin. Did lots of fishing and outdoor activities and didn't want to spend time in the shop too much. And so anyway, but I do have some knives that I have completed here in 2020 and um, still still plugging away at some other ones. Got some uh, other, th other ones planned and uh, heat treated and all that. But right now, I'll just show you the ones that I have. First of all, this one right here, this is the sheath. Um, just This is a kind of an outdoor pack knife or a pocket, kind of a pocket knife, just a small little knife. Uh, no, no belt loop or clip or anything on this one, but uh, just a small little, little sheath there, pouch type of sheath. And here's the knife. So it's AEBL stainless steel with a hollow grind. It's got uh, the flats, as you can see here, are textured. Uh, that's just a simple hammered, hammered flats and a small little knife, not all that big. I call this the lemming, my lemming, and uh, red liners, as you can see there. And these scales are actually, uh, I'm calling them reclaimed scales, reused, upcycled, whatever we want to call them. They're from an old pallet. And uh, so I think they turned out turned out pretty good. Pins are micarta, micarta brown uh, micarta pins. So small little small little knife, but uh, kind of a three finger deal. Really nice, uh, really nice package combo. I like these. I like these uh, red the red stitching kind of to go along with the red liners there. And uh, anyway, so this is the first knife that I have completed. Full little package right there goes nice. Could go nice in the pocket in the pack whether somebody's canoeing, uh, camping, hiking, whatever. Good little knife there. Second one, is this one right here. Kind of a unique pointed sheath and uh, belt, belt carry option for this sheath with uh, some stamping, including a caribou antler, or sorry, caribou footprint there on the, the sheath and caribou antlers involved as well in the knife. And uh, this is a caribou crown. Just an old shed that I found on the ground, not a very big one, but uh, this is a small little knife for, for a youth or an adult with small hands, Damascus blade. Beautiful Damascus blade. Um, I did not buy the, I, didn't, or I did not grind the blade, I did buy this blade pre-done, pre-etched, sharpened, etc. Um, but I think I did, I did touch it up, uh, sharpen it a little bit there, but uh, just a small little knife as you can see. A little bit small for my hands. I don't have super big hands, but a little small, but uh, be great for a child, great for uh, a, a lady or uh, someone else with small hands. But uh, caribou antler with brass, a brass guard, leather, leather spacer along with two uh, dark red G10 spacers. So um, you can see there, just a beautiful blade. Damascus is a beautiful product there, but uh, all in all, small little hunting knife, skinning knife, belt carry option as well. Well, the next knife is my Esker, my Esker model, and uh, you have seen these quite a few, quite a few before. Full-size hunting knife and uh, one of my favorite sheaths I've ever done. Um, some new uh, kind of dragon scale stamping there or something and uh, just a beautiful turned out really well with this dyeing the, the dye job and uh, there's the uh, the burnished edges there and uh, just the, the back of the sheath so uh, man I, I really like really like this knife turned out really well sheath as well so here is the knife once again, this is also AEBL stainless, stainless steel, a very nice specialty steel. There's my Falcon. You can see the Falcon logo a little bit in there. Get some good, good lighting there. Um, full size hunting knife with a little bit over four inch blade, hollow ground. Handle scales are maple burl. 
maple cur curly maple burl type uh, scales they're dyed stabilized and uh, blue kind of a blue look there with one nice pin there and a couple other a couple other small small pins and a lanyard tube so no liners on this one but I uh, just thought man it's a beautiful wood just keep just the straight wood uh, on the handle and it uh, fits really well and some a new little thing that I haven't done much before actually this is probably the first knife is I put this little indentation here on the the wheel of the grinder and uh, just kind of makes a little spot for the thumb it's not thumb to sit if needed but uh, all in all nice hunting knife really happy with how this one turned out and of course the sheath as well happy with the sheath well the final knife that I'll show you is a little bit bigger knife and um, full size skinning uh, outdoor uh, outdoor knife good for uh, you know, skinning hunting type uh, things simple tooling on the sheath there nothing fancy just some indentations I did uh, with I believe a end of a bolt or something like that while the the leather was dyed or while the leather was damp and then uh, then it was dyed and then here is the knife most people are interested in the knives not the sheaths as much but uh, here is the knife and uh, really uh, really like this knife um, very uh, unique design as you can see here this is a knife I kind of did in homage in homage to the Canadian belt knife which has that drop blade the handle up a little bit and the blade drop down if you see the the Groman belt knife made by the Canadian uh, famous Canadian company Groman knives um, they they have a knife uh, so this is similar quite a bit different quite a bit different blade shape handle shape everything but uh, basically the the dip down is what I was aiming for in, in this blade and it fits just amazingly in the hand <clears throat> I mean this blade fits th this knife just fits like a glove um, I did some uh, handle sculpting as well you can see just uh, uh, dips up there dips there as well on either side and uh, just fits really really well in the hand I think this is you know a little this blade is a little bit longer than the previous knife there this is just right about five inches once again hollow ground AEBL stainless this one's got uh, rosewood rosewood scales Honduran rosewood with micarta pins I don't know if you can see the micarta <laughs> there and even a micarta lanyard tube first time using one of those turned out pretty well liners these are fiber these are yellow fiber vulcanized fiber liners uh, planned to uh, and the stitching to match on the sheath there and uh, so a really nice nice combo nice hunting knife combo good good knife for skinning big game so anyway there's the whole whole knife once again so well, I hope you enjoyed just seeing a little bit of the work that I've been up to, a little bit of the knife making, still doing some knife making, uh, but a lot, a lot of factors involved. Like I said, busy this summer doing other things that were more important family time and uh, some outdoor activities. Um, having some issues with uh, the heat. Once again, cold, cold weather is upon us now. It's about minus 22 Celsius out there. So having some issues again with the heat in my shop and having some issues with my grinder. I actually have been saving up for a new grinder. Hopefully, uh, planning to upgrade to a 2x72. Can you believe it? 2x72 grinder. Save, been saving up, selling some old tools and just uh, some other money I got for a little bit of work I did in town for somebody. And um, so, anyway, looking forward to hopefully upgrading and getting a full size, real 2x72 grinder. And uh, that might be next month, might be the be probably more along the beginning of next year, 2021. So anyway, we'll still be putting out a few uh, knife making videos, hopefully this winter, and uh, be maybe getting some more outdoor videos as uh, we roll around into the spring, but that's a ways away. Uh, once again, issues with my camera, issues with my phone, got lots of stuff going on that uh, inhibit or prohibit me uh, you know, hinder me from getting videos out on the channel. But uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, all of those four knives are available, at least at the, the uploading time of this video, they are available on my Etsy store. 
Check the link in the description for that if you would like to buy one of those knives. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Take care. Um, God bless. We'll talk to you another time.